science can be good. Like when it's uncovering the secrets of DNA or inventing penicillin. That's nice, Brian Coxy science. But then there's bad science, which produces weapons of mass destruction, hand grenades, and makes phones work where they shouldn't. Hi, John, yeah. Yeah, I'm on a train. Yeah, dangerous, selfish, and antisocial. Brian Cox would run a mile from that kind of science and still look gorgeous. <laughs> So, which kind of science is Meadowvale Mobility using? It says there, decreases inflammation, increases mobility and strengthens the immune system and promotes speed recovery from injuries. Hmm, interesting. Too soon to tell. Early days. Mustn't prejudge. Because there's a lot at risk. Helena Ellis is 93 and suffers from vascular dementia. She told her daughter Wendy about a man who visited her sheltered accommodation, a man who wouldn't leave, and who charged her £1,400 for a ripple therapy mattress. I believe it's a massage mattress, which mother didn't want, didn't need, and couldn't use. I don't think she understood what she was buying. So what do you think made her hand over the money, then? I know she just wanted that person out of her house. And that was the only way I think she thought she could do it. We know about plenty of other complainants, like nurse Lisa Wynn, whose great-aunt Peggy was suffering from dementia when a Meadowvale rep called. I think for anybody walking into the property at the time, um, it would be evident that this was an elderly lady um, that clearly wasn't coping. You speak to her now, she probably doesn't remember whether you've gone from one day to the next. Her state of mind at the time was that of an elderly lady that was deteriorating rapidly. Peggy also suffers from arthritis, and Meadowvale claims the therapy mattress they sold her can help reduce pain. She later changed her mind, refused delivery, and tried to get her money back within the seven-day cooling-off period. A year on, she's still waiting, like many others. Meadowvale have 21 outstanding county court judgments against... But Lonnie wouldn't just sell this to anyone. Oh, no. He needs to check their suitable first. If you're can cancerous, yeah. no way. You can have a recliner without the therapy. Yeah. You can have the mattress without the therapy, but you can't have the therapy because it would aggravate it. That's really scary. Why did he suddenly bring cancer into it? How would it aggravate? Oh, well, it yeah. does. It, well, because I it suppose. stimulates your cells. Oh, right. Here's your answer. Right. Now, the last thing you want is stimulating Cancer cells. Mm. I don't want a mattress or a chair that stimulates cancer cells. Talking about it in this way, it's, he's implying that his product's very powerful. He's exaggerating the qualities and the power of the, of the unit. It's just nonsense. Or in other words, it's bad science. Again. <laughs> Our actress now says she's on the drug warfarin for a blood clot, a condition which should rule her out of a vibrating product. And she can't remember when the clot developed. She's acting confused, remember? I think it was six months. Do you know the time passes so funnily? I, yeah, I don't yeah, know if it's I, I Monday or Tuesday, to yeah, be honest. Lonnie's yeah. response? Uh, Simply plough on with the sales uh, patter. Yeah, how many hours a week do you normally... Hours a week. How many hours a night do you normally sleep? He's just ignoring her confusion, confounding her with more information and more questions. Um, that, to me, is not a, an ethical way of selling anything. Following this epic sell, Liz opts for a ripple therapy chair, but then Lonnie reveals the price. £2,300 for a bespoke model. Too dear? Well, we could pay 1840 for an off-the-shelf model with no therapy in it. Or, to put it another way, more than 1800 quid for a normal chair. Sling your hook, Lonnie. We're not buying. So, after a whole two hours, 11 minutes and 40 seconds, Lonnie's gone again, leaving us confused and baffled. Don't know what I'm doing near the bike. We're not going anywhere. I've got to get another salesman in. As you were. Yes, how could I possibly leave when we're expecting a call from Russell Ellsworth? He's an Elvis fan, in, in case you're wondering. And he describes himself as the Meadowvale sales manager. I'm a suspicious man. 
You see, we too have suspicious minds. We suspect that it's not only Lonnie who's making unsubstantiated claims about the company's products. So we've brought in a second actor called Jim, who also claims to have arthritis, but we're sticking with the same expert. And as Russell starts trying to sell us a vibrating mattress, we begin listening to the same old exaggerated claims. It's a mattress system. Right. First of all, arthritis. Any kind of arthritis, inflammation of the joints. Yeah. And what it does gently, it starts to work on the areas where the inflammation is and get the inflammation unblocked and get the blood flowing. What is it that's getting inflammation unblocked? Um, I don't think he understands what arthritis is or that process. I don't understand how a, a therapy unit or whatever it is he's, he's selling can do that. The science he's talking about doesn't work? No, it doesn't work. No. It's bad science. It's bad advice too. Russell failed to ask what type of arthritis our actor has. If it was the rheumatoid kind, a vibrating massage could be unsuitable and painful. Now, I don't want to seem a miracle worker, because I'm not, but it can ease the pain. What, the system can? The system can ease the pain. Can it? It can relieve the pain in a big way, and it can take the pain away. Massage by an electric unit, there's no clinical evidence that I can find that it has any benefits to health or, or pain relieving or any kind of clinical benefits whatsoever. Otherwise, they'd be in hospitals up and down the country? Well, yes, otherwise um, they would be, be being issued and prescribed uh, everywhere and every day, and they're not, they're just not there. OK, time for a demonstration. So what does it do to the inflammation? Right, what it does is, quite simply, if you can imagine grains of sand on here... Yeah. ..and it's, and it's doing this. Right. And that's what it's doing inside your body. Russell says the unit can take pain away a staggering 25 times during his visit. And it can take all your pain away, so you've got no pain. No problem whatsoever. What, just, just this vibration yes, will take away the pain? Take away the pain. I know it's hard to believe, but I've proved it time and time and time and time and time and time again. This is a bit like a prescription. No, nope, it's not like a prescription at all. That claim is nonsense, as is this one. And this pulse or pulsation is working on the muscles and the joints that don't get the exercise that you can't get. This so, is giving me the same this. benefits as exercise, you Yes. Know? So this is the Crikey. exercise treatment. More bad science. And back in the living room, now the medical claims just keep coming. It says there, it decreases inflammation, increases mobility, provides a greater joint flexibility and range of motion, improves circulation, strengthens the immune system, and promotes speedy recovery from injuries. I think it's an unbelievable list of benefits that he's saying all un unproven. There's no clinical evidence to say that that's the case at all. So, a pretty definite verdict from Maggie. Then again, she's just one expert who thinks Medivale are making nonsense claims. So we've since spoken to seven other experts who all agree. So much bad science, it hurts. And it's worth noting, too, that every incorrect medical statement is also a breach of consumer protection law which means old Russell's in a bit of trouble, as he's about to find out in about 10 minutes. It's Nest Samsung and its new Galaxy S4 phone. Launched at the end of April, it costs around £500. Samsung advertised built-in features like group music sharing and eye-tracking technology, supposedly giving it the edge over rivals like the iPhone 5 from Apple and the Nexus 4 from Google. But new owners are complaining to Watchdog about the amount of memory on the 16 gig version of the Galaxy S4. Customers like Phil Long. He upgraded from a previous Samsung model, the S2, and not surprisingly, he expected to be able to transfer across all his old apps and his games. So I bought the phone um, on there or thereabouts on, on release day. I then downloaded all the apps I, I had, um, which then consequently took up pretty much all of my memory on, on my new phone. Lo and behold, there was only nine gigabytes of memory when they'd advertised 16. It's almost, 
to the point of unusable sometimes. You know, you can open up an application, it'll freeze, it will stop, and you'll have to close a number of applications down to get the, you know, sometimes even restarting the phone to, to get it to work again. You're left with nine gigabytes of physical memory in, in the phone. You know, when you take out a two-year contract, isn't really a lot. You know, there are the number of applications that, you know, are quite hefty in size. Um, so, you know, it's fundamentally, it's not, it's not enough. So, Phil's message to Samsung. Don't advertise a 16 gigabyte when you're only going to give away nine gigabytes of memory. I hate losing gigs, don't you? I do. But yeah, I can understand all this too. What's uh, half the memory is being lost? Yeah, well, it seems the phone is a little bit too clever for its own good. Experts say it's actually caused by the amount of material Samsung have to load onto it to make all the special features work. It's called bloatware. Well, the phone comes with a 16 gig of memory and about half of that is taken up with the operating system and the various software features that Samsung load onto the device. And that's what makes the phone so complicated and gives it all these kind of super sexy features. But the downside is it takes lots and lots of space, so you only get about half of that left to install apps on. Phones are getting more and more complicated. As they get more complicated, they're using up more of the space that you have on the phone. But the storage provided isn't kind of keeping pace. Samsung do make versions of the S4 that have more memory. They're on sale in some other countries. There's also a 32 gig version on the market, but because the 16 gig is the cheapest, it's their best seller. So getting rid of it would hit their market share. Because it's so competitive at the moment, they can't afford just to have a 32 gig phone and that's it because um, they lose sales. I think this is a problem that the whole industry should address because it's not just this S4, it's lots of things that you buy. It says 16 gig on the, on the box and you could kind of expect to get 16 gig when you get home but you don't, you get much less. It's an industry standard thing and I'd like to see Samsung take the lead and, and be honest and say you're only going to get 8 gig of space for apps on the box, then no one can complain. It's another outrage. What's the response from Samsung? OK, they say they appreciate this issue being raised and they'll review their customer communication for future products. They also say owners can obtain a micro SD card, which increases the memory. The good news is you can transfer music and photos onto the cards, but you can't save apps on them like you used to be able to. So owners are stuck with the limited memory? Yeah, for the moment, yes, although in conversations with us, Samsung say they have uh, said that part of the phone is reserved for future software upgrades, and in their latest statement, they say they're committed to listening to their customers and responding to their needs, and they add they're reviewing the possibility of securing more memory space. Good. Thanks to all those who've been in touch about that story. Here's a few more. Money troubles, financial worries, well, maybe you should consider a loan with an APR of 2,670%. At least according to Atomic Kitten star Kerry Katona, who's been singing the praises of payday lender Cash Lady. The Advertising Standards Authority banned this TV ad last week after judging it irresponsible and misleading. But after making a few small changes, the company is preparing to run a new ad, complete with the same colour scheme and graphics. So, now we can all once more get financial advice from Kerry. That's Kerry Katona, the former bankrupt. Marks and Spencer, very sensitive, especially about language, but the high street favourite with a wholesome image may have overdone it by issuing a warning to a 77-year-old granny. Ruth Levy went on the M&S website to create a personalised greeting card for her 90-year-old friend, Richard. But when she wrote the e-card using the shortened name of Dick, she got a message saying it was being turned down because she'd used a profanity. It's political correctness gone mad, says Ruth, who ended up posting a regular card. But according to MS, we must ensure our system is robust to protect our content standards. Perhaps they're taking the mick. Oh, I mean Michael. Tesco assuring customers all its cheddar cheese comes from Britain and Ireland. There's the sign, couldn't be clearer. So it's very confusing to find this cheese labelled as Canadian and with the Canadian flag on the packet. One customer who complained was told Tesco was investigating. Tesco's now responded to Watchdog. All our own label cheddar is British and Irish, with the exception of Canadian cheddar, which is very clearly labelled as such. So it is all British and Irish except when it isn't. Thanks, Tesco. 
OK, we're closing in on Medavale Mobility Limited of Nottingham now, the company that makes big medical claims about the effectiveness of their mattresses and chairs. It's a pity they're untrue. And it's a shame some of them are illegal. Now, they've been selling those products to the elderly and the vulnerable at exorbitant prices, and they've tried to sell them to us. Well, Lonnie has, and so has his training manager. And this is him, company sales manager Russell Ellsworth, who spent a whopping three hours, 20 minutes and 15 seconds trying to sell a vibrating mattress to our elderly actor, Jim. Price? £1,775, double what we've seen in similar products selling for. Mind you, this product has special benefits, according to Russell, anyway. Increases mobility, provides a greater joint flexibility and range of motion. And not only that, it has official endorsement, uh, uh, according to Russell. Anyway. It says here, medically tested. Yes, well, if you look on the next page, and if you look down there, it actually says, undergone clinical trials and tests by medical physics and biomedical engineering at Salisbury Healthcare NHS Trust in Wiltshire. In Will oh, yeah. OK, we've since checked with the Salisbury NHS Foundation Trust. It says it did carry out pressure tests on a similar mattress to the one sold by Medavale. But it never tested it for arthritis sufferers, nor tested any vibrating elements. It says that Medavale Mobility Limited has no authority to make any reference to the tests carried out by the Trust or to use the Trust's name to endorse its products. So, what about the Ripple Therapy chairs then, Russ? It's exactly the same system. Right, they've all been tested medically, yes, have they? all been tested just the same. Well, not by Salisbury NHS, because we asked them again, and they denied it again. So the scene is set. We're calling Medavale back out to seal the deal, but not before Jim and I have got into training for the big bout. Oh. Russell reckons his vibrating mattress is as good as exercise, you see. But I'm getting into shape for this meeting in the old-fashioned way. I just wish my training partner wasn't such a cheat. OK, seconds out. Here comes Russell Lounsworth for round two. Oh, hello there. Yes, thank you. Come in. Right. Carry on there. All right. I, I want you to meet oh, my well grandson. Right. Hello, Russell. Oh. Matt Allwright, BBC Road Traders. Oh. You see, that is exercise. That's how you get exercise. You don't get it right. by lying on a vibrating mattress, as you claimed when you were right. trying to sell your products to our guy, our I, actor here. I have got lots of lots of people that will actually attest to that. Yeah, but it's not clinical trial. That's the, that's the key. When you're selling I health didn't products. Say it's no, trial. when you're selling health products, the claims right. you make must be accurate and they must be backed up by evidence. Otherwise, you're breaking sections three and five of the 2008 right. Protection from Unfair Trading consumer protection right. regulations. That's what we've seen you doing for three hours, 20 minutes and 15 seconds in this house. Right, it seems like we've caught Russell a bit unawares. Better sit down. I do my job properly. Unfortunately, and if you, you don't. Have... Russell, you don't do your job properly because you make claims about your products that can't be backed up. You make claims to people who could have chronic pain. Have you got me filmed doing this? Yes. Well, I'm glad about that. Did you film me in the bedroom? Yes. So you know exactly what I did then? Yes, we do. You know that I did nothing wrong? No, you cannot take away pain. You cannot guarantee to take away pain well, by using a vibrating clinical trials, mattress. hasn't it? No. The product hasn't had clinical the trials. The product you are selling has not been properly trialled for the particular qualities that you claim it's got. You talked about the way that it could relieve pain. You talked about uh, the way it could reduce inflammation. You lied about the testing that it had had and, and the relevance of that testing. You know, there are so many points, and we've got them in a letter there, and you I'll can... I'll tell you what, it's great stuff, this, because if you go on TV and any of this is cut out, I'll make sure that I go on Facebook and Twitter and make sure that, that facts are pointed out that you haven't. Okay. So I'll tell you what, you better make sure that you point all the facts out. So you said the mattress has been tested, the product's been tested. That implies that the whole thing has been clinically tested. That's uh, not the case. In that case, I, I, I no, no, normally that is, it is the mattress that has been tested, That's not, not the actual therapy system. You throw it in there and it's, look, look, it's been tested, yeah, it's all fine. Without clarification, that covers the whole mattress and the way that it works. That's not the case, Russell. It's one of many lies you used to try and sell this mattress to us. If you're saying to someone you don't need to exercise, because this, this mattress, 
does the exercise for you. It gives you the Why would you then go and exercise if you can do it lying in your bed? There's no truth to that. Because there's people who can't, because they can't get out the there's door. There's no truth to the fact they that can't, it doesn't yes, give you the benefit of exercise. They, they can't it doesn't exercise, fill your lungs, they? it doesn't move your joints, it doesn't exercise your muscles in the way that you're talking about. It's nonsense, Russell. It really is nonsense. The responsibility you have when you're sitting in someone's front room and that's someone's mum or dad or their grandparent, that responsibility is totally with you because the words are coming out of your mouth and at the end of the day you'll be signing the contract with them. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do that as honestly as I can. Have you got anything else to say? No. Not a thing. I know how many people I've helped. Whatever the experts say, it doesn't matter. We're all looking for a cure, we're all looking for this, we're all looking for that. I don't care. I go in and I help the people. And I certainly do not take advantage of anybody. Russell, we're going around in circles. Unless you've got anything else to add, you can go. No, that's fine. That's great. I've got no problem whatsoever. Let's have to get back in touch with us if there's anything else you want to add. Right, OK. No worries. All right. And with that, Russell's off. And I'm not sure he really understands where he's going wrong. Crazy people. Russell Lounsworth of Meadowvale Mobility Limited. As they say, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And we're ready for Rio. We're ready. Mm. Russell Lounsworth says he's never knowingly used information which he believed to be untrue and that his character and practices have never been questioned during 40 years in sales. He says he was trained by Medivale. Lonnie Mansell no longer works for the company. He says he has limited knowledge, didn't know what statins were, and that his medical claims were based on the Medivale literature. He says the only thing of which he's guilty is taking their claims at face value. Medivale themselves say they make no definitive claims that the system will alleviate pain. They say there are numerous clinical studies supporting the benefits of their massage system, as well as many positive reviews from happy customers. They've visited 12,000 houses in the last year. So, say, our compla complainants represent a relatively small number. Finally, they'll be looking again at their training and reiterate that reps should not offer medication advice to customers. Meanwhile, you can look once again at the astonished face of Russ Lounsworth as he becomes the latest face on our rogues gallery.